What's going on everybody? This is Chaz with Homegrown How To. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time to the channel, thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you find this information helpful. Today I'm going to be installing the GardenCraft XW retractable garden hose reel built by Sunny Day. The great people at Sunny Day have sent me this retractable garden hose reel and I'm super excited to get that in and test it out. So this video is going to be installation only. There's going to be another video that is going to be a review on that. You can find that video right up here. Let's get to it. Here's everything that came in the box. We have the garden hose reel. There's some mounting screws and some anchors. The anchors are for if you're attaching that into any type of masonry. This is the mount and this is the garden lead. I'll go from your water spigot to the hose reel. So I've elected to go away from attaching it into my house. I don't want to drill holes into the brick. So what I'm going to do is I've got a 4x4 post that I'm going to be cementing into the ground and I'm going to be kind of covering up that post just to make it look a little bit better. So if you're going to be going the route that I'm going and installing a post into the ground, make sure you call 811 that will mark your utilities so you don't dig into anything you probably shouldn't. And here I'm using some cardboard. This ensures an easier cleanup and make sure that I don't get any dirt on my lawn. I also recommend using a post hole digger. This thing is a lifesaver and saved me a lot of time. So I've got my hole dug. It's about a little more than 32 inches. 32 inches was what I was going for. It's about 34, 35 inches. A couple things I had to do, unfortunately, was this is my drip irrigation line, my main line. So what I did is I just cut that so it was out of the way. And then I also had my sprinkler timer wire coming through here. So I put some conduit around that just in case I ever need to get that out. I don't want to be pouring cement over that. So that is what that is. But other than that, hole is dug. I'm ready to put some concrete in there. And here I start with some gravel. I'm only using about four to six inches of gravel to help with drainage and concrete setting. Something else you want to do is make sure your pole is level. Check it forward and side. For this project, I used a total of three and a half 50 pound bags of concrete. And the concrete that I used was the quick creep fast setting concrete. Did not mix any of the concrete before pouring it in the hole. I just poured in a little bit of water, the powder, mixed it and repeated. This made it a lot easier. A lot less messy, almost zero cleanup. I highly recommend it. All right, guys, it has been 24 hours since I got that post concreted in. It is nice, stable. That ain't going nowhere. I got my drip line connected back together. Concrete is all dry, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to backfill all of that in. Then I'll get my measurement and cut my post off. And what I'm gonna do is take this vinyl sleeve, cover that up, get my measurements right, and cut off the top. I've got a cap that I'm going to be putting on top of that. Here's a little PVC cement that came with it. I'm just going to put a little bead of that on the inside.
here I'm just marking my pilot holes. This kit did not come with a template, which I wish it did, but we're working with what we got. So I was unable to stick a marker or a pencil down inside of the holes to mark those, so I'm just marking them with my drill bit. All right, I'm really excited with how easy it is to put on and take off this XW series garden hose reel. Again, the video to the review is down in the description below. Alright guys, so here you have it. The hose is in. I'm very excited about that. Now we just got to go test it out. I'm going to be posting a product review. I'll post the link to that video in the description below. If you found this video helpful at all, please make sure to like and subscribe. There will be a lot more DIY and lawn and garden videos coming, so please subscribe to the channel. You won't want to miss these. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.